What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video of Modern Day Muscle. We're gonna do another model of the car, guys. Stay tuned. I believe I'm rubbing very slightly and uh, I was talking with uh, Garage Driven, by the way, shouts out to him. And he suggested a uh, five mil spacer. But um, as you guys know, I have 315s in the back on a 10 and a half inch wheel. Um, it seems to rub very slightly when the car flexes. So anytime I'm doing, you know, turns or anything like that, um, it'll rub, but it's very light. But uh, we're gonna find out how much rubbing is happening because I'm gonna take this off and we're gonna put on this. Uh... This spacer right here, five mil. Hey guys, so I got the wheel off. Big 315, huge. Um, I was inspecting the wheel a little bit. I don't know if the rubbing is this indention or it's somewhere on the inside here, but you know, I definitely heard it when the, the tire was turning, but um, I'm not really sure if I really will see a uh, an impact on the tire. I wonder if it's inside the wheel well though. So I'm um, about to go check that out. Oh, there's the culprit right there. See it? I don't know if you guys can see it, but the rubbing, hold on, let's focus. Let's see here. Can we focus? Are we good? Are we in the game? Let's see. Let me hold it right here. But anyways, um, yeah, the rubbing is actually happening right here, guys. I'll take my finger away so you guys can see it. It's like really dark right there. That's where the rubbing is. It's really happening. Yeah. So, um, like I said, it's very minimal. Um, it's not anything crazy, but definitely, um, I'm gonna put that spacer on the hub. So, yeah, let's get to it. Yo, so if you're watching this and you're a novice like me, I just learned that this side, see how the lip looks like it has like a bevel to it. And then on this side, there's no bevel. It's just a, a straight edge. Um, well, there is a little bit of a bevel, but it's very small. So yeah, let's just say a straight edge so I don't confuse people. This is how the hub should go on the car and the bevel side should be on the hub. Because if not, um, I was told your wheel could fall off, which that would suck. But yeah, um, and all these holes too, um, there's different um, spacers out there. I'm gonna have to um, fit them on the hub and then I'll probably use like a marker or something to mark so I don't get confused. All right guys, so, um, update bad news this is the wrong spacer so we're gonna have to contact the seller um it's supposed to be 5114 i mean it's supposed to be 5115 and this one's 5114 um and i'm guessing they're assuming that this is supposed to fit but it doesn't i'm not gonna try and put it on there because it's kind of annoying to to fit it and then take it back off but uh, also, too, since I had more time to look, this is where the rubbing is happening. It's happening um, here, because you see the plastic is starting to wear away right there. And then this isn't good neither, which I didn't notice this before when I was showing you guys. But yeah, this isn't normal. This isn't factory. This should be like that. So definitely when the car is turning, it eats away. But like I said, it's not um, terrible, but not good. I definitely got to get this on before I go to Dallas for, um, you know, the YouTuber call out the showdown. But uh, yeah, man, it sucks. Yeah, man, but uh, that was uh, unfortunate. But I learned a lot just because I've never put on a spacer. So I was, you know, I was having the problem and then I, I called... Uh, garage driven just to double check I wasn't crazy and uh 
yeah, I gotta return the spacer back to the seller and get the right one. So I'm definitely gonna have it on before Dallas. Um, you know, like I said, the rubbing isn't horrible, but it is something that needs to be addressed. So to the next video, we'll put it on, man. Anyways, my name is Jordan. This is Modern Day Muscle. Thank you for stopping by, and I'll see you in the next video, man.